Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the Canvas Size command in the menu bar to add or remove workspace around the actual image file. You can also use this command to crop an image by decreasing the canvas size. To use this command, select Image, Resize, and then Canvas Size from the menu bar and that will launch the Canvas Size dialog box that we see here. In this dialog box, in the Width text box, change that number to your desired amount. Let's say 5, for example. To the right of that, you can use the drop-down here to change the unit of measurement if you like. Inches, pixels, centimeters, millimeters, etc. In the Height text box, do the same thing. Change its amount and of course you could use the drop down to change the unit of measurement on that as well if you so desire. Now if you check the relative checkbox, this right here, which resets any measurements that you've made, you can re-enter the numbers and units and it will adjust the canvas size in relation to the size that it currently is. Below that we have the anchor section and in the anchor section you click to place the white square into the section of the image by which you want to anchor the image. The growth or shrinkage of the canvas will occur in the direction that the black arrows point. So you can click anywhere you like there to change that. Now below that area you use the canvas extension color drop down right here to select which color you want for the canvas extension if you're increasing the size. You could of course also click the small color box to the right of that and the color picker will appear to change to a different color if you like. Once you have your dimensions in place for your canvas, you simply click OK. In this case, we're decreasing the canvas size and so Elements will alert us that the new canvas size is smaller than the current canvas size so some clipping will occur and we'll click proceed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.